Hello YouTube. My name is Retta and I started Handicrafted.com as a little place to sell the jewelry that I make. The funny thing about making jewelry for me is that I don't often wear it and I find that to be very strange but I'm just addicted to making it. So I wanted to come on to YouTube and help some beginning crafters make jewelry for themselves or to sell. I used to do flea markets and they can be a lot of fun. I did those with my mom when she was with us. And I was going to do a short tutorial tonight about this cute little bracelet that I made. It's cultured freshwater pearls with rose quartz beads and pewter end caps. But as I was making it, I ran out of supplies. Figures. Welcome to my life, right? <laughs> so hopefully tomorrow when I get some more stuff, we'll get into that. So while I'm here, I thought I'd introduce you beginning crafters and jewelry makers to some supplies that you're going to come across. And when I started, I thought something's wrong. I have too many containers. I've got jelly jars and all kinds of Tupperware and Rubbermaid, but that's just how it is. <laughs> These you'll find at craft stores. You might find them even... Um, in the fishing section, like at Walmart. They have all these little sections, and as you can hear there's a lot of beads in this one. I don't recommend using seed beads inside these because they're not very tightly sealed, so use larger beads and other findings in there. A friend of mine mailed me this because she was moving and, and didn't want to take all her supplies with her, and the package box that she put it in leaked everywhere. and. I can only imagine what our postman thought about that. These, which are like Rubbermaid containers, they come in every shape, size, and color. Walmart, Kmart, um, just about anywhere. Beware of dollar store containers because a lot of times the lids won't close properly. So you'll save money, but you're going to have to go out and buy more. So skip the dollar store. <laughs> One other thing that's very useful, and I highly recommend getting if you're making jewelry, is this. It's from Craftmate. I got this at AC Moore, which is a craft store where I live in the southeastern part of Pennsylvania. And it's got all kinds of compartments for the tools that you'll need. And you'll use a lot of different tools. You'll use your fingers, your teeth. Try to avoid that. <laughs> I've broken many fingernails and I even chipped the tooth. Inside here are these six containers, and they seal very tightly. If you're like me, you drop things, so this is very recommended. And of course it came in purple, which is my color. So, in a nutshell, that's me. And crafting is something that is in my blood. It's something I'm very passionate about. So, when I get more supplies, I'll see you back here. And go on and visit my site, handicrafted.com, and let me know what you think. So, bye for now. And I'll see you soon.